What's the crack, lads? Now, the UFL beta number two is out Friday, the 2nd of August. We're going to be live streaming it tomorrow, so hope to see you guys there. But let's see what we didn't like about the first beta and hopefully what they've addressed before we get into the live stream tomorrow. Now, there's a lot I like about the off-the-pitch action. Most of my issues with UFL were on the pitch. This is a new way that they've kind of like, you know, it's not new, but it's kind of more streamlined in how you give player skills. You effectively can just give any skill to a player based on their position. If they're a winger, you can give them tricks and stuff like that and crossing. You also have a brand new skin system. Now, this is kind of like changing the colors of the cards and giving them different attributes. I think this is going to be where they kind of like add more microtransaction -y stuff later on. They haven't really talked about this yet, but you can see there the player's characteristics, their stats, their skills, and of course you can train skills as well. They seem to also be talking about this reputation cap now. Obviously, they'll probably make that so that you will be having, you know, different teams at different levels rather than having just God Squad versus God Squad or Meta Squad versus Meta Squad. You'll be able to go and do Road to Glories or Free to Play Squads or whatever. Now, they haven't really talked about the microtransaction stuff, so I'm a little bit uneducated on how they're going to make money off this game, really. But the skin sets here, they're all about just different looks for the cards and having different types of players, different tiers. I definitely think that that's what they'll probably work on over the next couple of months before launch. And also, I don't like in this trailer, lads, that they're showcasing a lot of skills. I just don't really want it to be a skill fest type of game. But the skills do look improved. Um, but the defensive AI and the defensive awareness, which we'll get into in a second, still looks miles, miles away. Now, obviously, we're only looking at this. This is not fully, you know, this is a work in progress. So we're going to give it the benefit of the doubt and actually give it a good test ourselves. They're also talking about this. They dropped this new player management kind of like deep dive. I must say that their marketing and stuff and the way that they're explaining what they're trying to do, it is good. Um, even though there is a lot of frailties, I think, with the actual core gameplay itself. But as I said, man, there's good and the bad. And I'm going to look at this with a glass half full rather than just absolutely shitting on it and saying this is, you know, dead on arrival. I, I'm just, I'm still intrigued by it without having, you know, played the second beta. They're saying that there's up to 60 to 70% of stuff reworked on it so it's going to be interesting and you can see there that you've got different you know stuff with the clubs and different match levels and cap levels and they just seem to have different things going on compared to the last thing they talk about synergy or chemistry or whatever they're calling it there's still a lot of animations in here that i don't really like um now from the ufl beta number one you'll see here with all the clips right it doesn't look too different from this based on the trailer one of the biggest issues i had that i want to see rectified is the finesse shots and the curled long blitz curler type shots or finesse shots and the lack of, I suppose, lack of authority with the players bringing the ball out from defense. It wasn't too bad when you had the ball in midfield, but defensively it's very hard to get control. You'll see here with my defender, when I come across to win this ball, I'm holding up and I'm trying to defend as best as I possibly can. My player just like makes no attempt at winning the ball from an animation point of view, but I do still win it. But then there's just a complete freeze. And this is an issue with eFootball as well, but I don't think it's as bad in e as it is in this, in eFootball. It's still bad in eFootball when you lose possession. It can happen. But the fi finesse curl shots, if they're in this in the beta, I said at the start with the beta, number one, I think it's a design choice that they want to have finesse shots and they want to have this kind of breakdown of play and these passages of play um, where essentially the gameplay boiled down to getting the ball into a central position like this and finessing into the goal. And it was a goal like 80% of the time. You just could not save it. Or else it was a case of losing the ball in these positions and then getting finessed on. So yeah, that's going to be something that I definitely want them to, to fix um, because it seemed to be that there was like one or two patterns of play that just were really overpowered. And then defensively, the animations and the gameplay just wasn't where it was need, needed to be. But as I said, lads, this is still in the beta stage. You know, it, it, you're not going to compare this game for, to a fully finalized, you know, build. And as you see there again, my player is just completely avoiding the ball, completely running away from the ball. Uh, that was my mistake in goals there. But to be honest with you, I was just a bit pissed off there. So I just threw the ball out. But yeah, look, we're going to give it a go. Let me know if you guys are interested. We will be streaming it tomorrow. Uh, are you interested? Is it dead on arrival? Have you a bit of potential in it? Do you see a bit of potential in it? Are you going to give it a fair shake? Or are you just not interested in this and all eyes on the new FIFA or the new eFootball uh, e 2025 when that comes? Let me know what you guys think and I hope to see you in the stream tomorrow. We'll test it out. What's the worst that can happen, man?